the Tibetan Mastiff. The origin of the Tibetan Mastiff. Its origins go back a long way. He would descend from Tibetan Mastiffs living in the territory for more than 5,000 years. These dogs developed into two types, the Du Qi, a nomadic herder, as well as the Sang Qi, a guard dog that mainly lives in Tibetan monasteries. Around the 1800s, the West began to take an interest in this breed. The first Tibetan dog arrived in England in 1847, offered to Queen Victoria who was passionate about Sinology. It was in 1873 that the England Kennel Club gave it the name of Tibetan Mastiff. The first breed club was formed in 1931, but World War II seriously endangered the breed's survival outside its original territory. The importation of dogs resumed around 1976 in England, and in 1970 in the United States. Tibetan Mastiff Temperament His stubborn and independent character will not suit all masters. He likes to be respected and while he values his family, he expects to be treated as an equal. He is relatively affectionate. He has a strong protective instinct and he will defend your family no matter what. Its imposing structure makes it a very dissuasive guard dog, and its temperament supports this trait well. His unpredictable personality makes him not very well suited to young children. He is not mean to them but he does not control his strength. He also dislikes strangers, towards whom he is very suspicious. He can live with other animals if he is used to it from a young age. Finally, this mountain dog can exhibit a destructive temper when bored or left alone for too long.